the next part where the measure 17 starts, it repeats the same melody line, but it's on the second beat. So left hand by itself, one. slow from the G seventh chord. It starts on the third beat, right? But to make it easy, I will count one, two, three, four. Only we will take it out that measures G seventh chord and then C slash G and we will count as one, two, three, four to make it easy. Now let's go. Ready? Go. One. But left hand chord changes a lot. So let's go to a diminished chord, E with the circles. G B flat E starts on one. together it really doesn't work 
because you have to think about the left hand changing positions and right hand tied to the next one and you don't know what to do and you know you're stopping it anyway to find a hand position then you lose your rhythm so there is a not really right or wrong way to practice just first practice the notes try to find as fast as possible and when you can play it well then start counting the rhythm so from the beginning try not to count exact because it's not gonna work anyway now the next part i will play it whole entire song in slow tempo i will count as one two three four ready one two three four
How is the song? Pretty confusing. I know. The note seems okay, but the rhythm in between left and right and combination is pretty hard. But in this song, our lesson point is grace note. So if you can play a grace note well, that should be fine. And the last part, just practice. It will take like at least two to three weeks to play it well. If you don't know the notes well, then it's really hard to working on the rhythm. Even if rhythm doesn't come right away, don't get frustrated. It will get better later when you can play notes well. Got it? I will see you next time with more fun song. Bye!